What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I wanna to talk about a mistake that you don't want to make if you are mixing with spectrum analyzers. Now I have this pink noise that I'm gonna use for the example today. Just sounds like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that turned off because we don't want to really hear it. I just wanna show you what it looks like when we look at it in a spectrum analyzer. Now I have a few examples of spectrum analyzers that I will use. I have this Voxango Span the Spectrum by Ableton, and then also Ozone 11. So let me go ahead and play this pink noise now. And you can see when I play this pink noise through this Voxango span, the frequency spectrum has all of the frequencies kind of going upward to the right. But if you look at the Spectrum Analyzer on Ableton, you have them all going downward to the right. And let's open up the Ozone one, and you can see that the frequencies look relatively level all the way across the frequency spectrum. And this is just like the default when you open up these plugins, this is what they look like. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what is going on here? And this might be something that you don't really realize if you're not using multiple spectrum analyzers. And I only really use for me, I, I really only use this box angle span. And the way that I'm using a spectrum analyzer is to compare two different tracks to each other. So I'm just looking at the relation of the bass in one track to another track by looking at putting a, one of these spans on one track and then also putting it on another track and just comparing the two of them. So that's kind of like how I use a spectrum analyzer. So this thing where you see these three spectrum analyzers together, and I think this Insight one as well, this one has it going downward, kind of like the spectrum analyzer in Ableton. You might not have ever realized that this was happening. But if you, for some reason, switch from one spectrum analyzer to another, or you use two different ones in a session, then this is something that you want to note is that some of these spectrum analyzers are applying a slope by default. Now I have this article from Sound on Sound, I'll put the link in the description below, which talks about why uh, people use pink noise for mixing, and this is why I'm using pink noise for my reference. Well, white noise, the white noise sound kind of goes uh, level all the way across the frequency spectrum, whereas pink noise kind of as it goes across the frequency spectrum toward the higher frequencies, it goes down by 3 dB. Now this says that the human's hearings, the human hearing system's frequency response is not linear, but logarithmic. In other words, we judge pitch increases by octaves, not by equal increments of frequency. Uh, this means that we listen, when we listen to white noise, it appears to us to increase three, by 3 dB by, per octave. So a more human-friendly distribution of energy results when we filter white noise so that it loses 3 dB per octave. And so that's what pink noise is, is, is kind of like white noise, but filtering it so that it, it starts to slope down negative 3 dB. Now, the reason why people use pink noise to mix to is because this kind of like helps provide almost this sense of a balanced mix according to like the human ear. But now let's go back to the spectrum analyzers. Now, assuming that there is a slope being applied to some of these spectrum analyzers, if we take a look at this ozone one, this ozone one, if I open up the settings and look at the spectrum, it says there is a slope of three dB per octave. So that's like a plus three dB. So it's actually sloping up the frequencies to make it look level all the way across. And so if you are mixing, trying to make your mix all the way level across, then you're kind of less like essentially mixing as if you're uh, using pink noise as a reference. And you can, of course, of course, change this. So you can change this to zero dB and then it slopes downward. And that's kind of like how the Ableton one is. The Ableton spectrum doesn't have a slope applied. And I don't think you can add a slope or change the slope. It just kind of slopes downward like that. But this is just something to note that if you are using spectrum analyzers, this is what is happening. There is a slope being applied. This one is three dB. And if I go to the Voxango span one, this one, you see it sloping upward. So let me open up the settings. And this is the default settings. You can see that the slope is 4.5. Now, I don't know why they chose 4.5 instead of 3. Um, I've been just using it as it is. And because I use my span to reference other tracks, is hasn't really been like an issue uh, for me mixing because I don't really also, I don't really change between different spectrum analyzers. But if you did want to put it at something like 3 dB per octave, uh, slope, then you can see as my white, my pink noise is playing, it's level all the way across. And then if you want it to be kind of like, if you're used to the way that 
Ableton has it where there is no slope, then you can put it at zero and use that to mix. So just something to note, if you're starting to use uh, a different spectrum analyzer is number one, recognize that uh, the mistake that you don't want to make is not knowing that there is a slope and then not knowing uh, the amount of the slope. So maybe if there isn't, because I think some spectrum analyzers have a slope, but don't allow you to check. I recommend using the Vox Angus span uh, um, spectrum analyzer because I think this one is free and it's kind of like the best one that a lot of people use and I, and I like a lot. And I tend to just use it at 4.5 and I don't really use any other spectrum analyzers. So I can, and you can also just change it here, but if you are switching to use a, a new spectrum analyzer, just realize that uh, there might be a slope applied and then just figure out that what that is, um, if there is a slope applied in the amount. That's all that I really wanted to share regarding the spectrum analyzers to make sure that you are using them correctly. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like, and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you'd like to check out any of my senior preset packs, head on over to store.sansmyers.com.